Hi everyone, welcome to a work in progress. I'm Joanne and welcome to my weekly Sunday thrift haul video. If you're new here to my channel, I do these videos every Sunday just to share with you some of the things that I have picked up recently while out thrifting. I will share with you what I'm going to be keeping for myself and those things that I'm going to be reselling. And if you would, make sure to watch through the end of the video because I would love it if you would leave a comment in the comment section down below to let everyone know what your favorite find was from this haul. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with a few things that I picked up at some random thrift stores around my area here in Raleigh. Uh, let's see, these I just got yesterday actually, and I think these are adorable. The bag was $4.99, but I think they were worth it. It is the little Pillsbury Doughboy dough boy and his girlfriend. So there is this little guy. They're salt and pepper shakers. Here he is. Here she is. Now she has a little, I think it's a, a nick. Well, it's not really a nick. It's a rough spot on her bonnet that you can see right there. But otherwise, as best I can tell, they are in perfect condition. No chips or cracks on them. Um, they both have their original stoppers. And I believe they were made in Japan. Let's see here. Yep, they have a date of 1988 on them. The Pillsbury Company, it says. And I don't, actually, it doesn't say where they were made. Uh, same thing is on the bottom of her, or on him. I'll show you the bottom of her. It's a little bit easier to make out there, I think. Not sure if you can see that or not, but I just thought they were absolutely adorable. These bring back some memories of my childhood like crazy. I believe I mentioned it on another video. I think I had found a plastic Pillsbury Doughboy. And uh, back in the day, I think you sent in wrappers from the Crescent Rolls. And you sent in a certain number of wrappers, if I'm, if I'm correct on this. And you got to get back for free a Pillsbury Doughboy. And uh, he was plastic and he was he was on a little stand and then you could also buy his girlfriend. So I had both of them. Um, they were at my parents' house on the top of the refrigerator for years and years. And I just sadly have no idea what happened to them. But these good little guys brought back some memories. And then let me see what else is in here. Oh, these I picked up because of the fall coming up. Oh, and those little guys are going to be for resale, as are these. These were $1.99. They're salt and pepper shakers. I picked them up for a couple of reasons. Um, they have to get, I'm going to try and clean up those caps on them a little bit. Because of the amber glass, I thought it was absolutely beautiful, especially for the fall season that will be coming up. And I think this is a, yep, that's a plastic. But somewhere on the inside, not sure if you're going to be able to make it out, but on the inside of the cap there, it does say Hong Kong. So these were made in Hong Kong. Oops, let me screw that back on. And there are the two of them. Perfect, perfect, I think, for fall coming up. Um, no chips. No, I don't feel any rough edges on the glass. So I thought that was a kind of a happy find for the season that is coming to us. I uh, also picked up, this is for myself, I have a collection of vintage Santa mugs and little figurines and such. So I found this little guy, and he'll be going into my mug. I'm going to gently uh, clean him. You, one thing you don't want to do with these is you don't want to put them into the dishwasher. Absolutely not. And you want to be very gentle if you find these in cleaning them because this paint will come off. Now his paint is pretty good. He's got a little bit of paint wear around the top there. That's okay. He was $1. And let's see. He is made in Japan. Uh, yes, and it does have part of, part of a sticker on the bottom says, Caution, do not wash. It probably said in boiling water. Put in. I probably said or put in dishwasher. I'll bet you is what that stamp said on the bottom. So this little guy is going to be gently cleaned up and go into my collection. Another mug that I got for resale is this You've Got This mug. And this is a Ray Dunn. It does have to be clean. You can see on the bottom. I'm not sure how much 
folks are still going crazy or maybe not going crazy over rain done anymore but i did i did like the mug um it's in perfect condition there are no chips or rough edges on it i will just clean that up and we'll see if anybody is interested in adding that maybe to their Ray Dunn collection or there's their mug collection. Useful item for myself. I picked up a surge protector. Uh, this was $3. And the reason I picked this up is, I don't know if you recall, if you've been with me for a little while, you may recall several weeks ago, we had a storm go through uh, the Raleigh area and it knocked out all kinds of things for me. My microwave, it uh, messed up my fridge, my, uh, let me see, I lost my printer, my desktop. I mean, it was just terrible. So now I am putting as many things as I can possibly put onto surge protectors. So hopefully that won't happen again. Learn, learn a lesson from me <laughs> and get surge protectors on those items that are expensive and that are worth it to you um, to not have to replace them. Uh, let me see. Oh, another useful item. I needed this. I don't know what this cable is called. I can't remember. I thought it was a coax cable. It is not. I was wrong on that. But anyway, I had picked up some of this because I need this for the uh, tower for the desktop, a, a new one that I purchased. And I had gone to Walmart and I purchased some of this for, I think it was $6. Well, I found this at the thrift store for a dollar. So I'll be taking that other cable back to Walmart and I saved myself $5. You know, I think that's pretty good. I'll take a $5 savings. Picked up this paperweight or piece of art glass. No, this is not art glass, is it? But anyway, this beautiful paperweight. And if you can see inside of there, there are little gold swirls. They don't, I can't tell if they sparkle. They look like they sparkle in there, don't they? And then look at these little, almost looks like little bubbles around the bottom of it too. I thought that was really pretty. Somebody might like this for themselves or as a gift. And that was only 50 cents. That was a pretty good pickup, I think. Uh, that is for resale, as is this adorable. I wonder how many times I say that in a video. I'm going to have to count sometime. Kitty planter. Look at him. He is just sleeping quietly, just like my Lewis is right now. So I got to get this video done before Lewis wakes up and starts wreaking havoc in my home again. This adorable little kitten planter. He is just napping away there by this shoe. Is that a chip right there? Oh, that is not a chip. I just noticed that now. It's actually a manufacturing flaw. You can feel it. It's a little bump and then the glaze just didn't stick to it. But there he is. Let's see if there's any marks on the bottom. I do not see any marks on the bottom of him. And other than a little bit of roughness around here, he is in beautiful condition. And I picked him up for just 99 cents. But I thought somebody might just love to add this kitten into their planter collection. Next thing I picked up is this baby blanket. It's nothing special. I don't remember how much I paid for it. Couldn't have been more than probably $2, I would bet. Uh, what I am doing is changing out the blankets that are on my blanket ladder that are, sits right next to this little love seat that I am on here. And I have almost all of, I think I do have all of the blankets that I need for it, but I wanted to get that one just to use as a little throw uh, on the couch. Just, you know, cover up your legs, your feet when things get chilly. So that one was for myself. Also for myself, I picked up this light. I like the black. A lot of the accents in my home are black. What I like about this light is that you can either hardwire it into your home's electrical system, or you can plug it in. Now I'm going to be plugging this in because I needed a light in my office. Uh, the one that I have right now, the desk lamp, is just taking up much, I mean, a lot of space. So it'll be nice to clear the desk space off. And this one will, I'm, the way I plan on attaching it is to put it like this. I'm actually going to mount it on the bookcase that my desk is attached to. And then I'll be able to put this right over top of whatever it, it, area it is that I need lit up. And I think it had, did it have a toggle? Yes, it has a toggle right there. I think they charged me, it was not marked, and I think they charged me somewhere around $5 for it when I got up to the checkout counter. So I didn't think that was too bad of a deal. Oop, here we go. 
Okay, the next things I'm going to show you are so cute. Um, it was in this, they were, they were in this little bag for $1.99. And I've taken them all out and put them onto this book. I oh, hope I can pick them up without knocking any of them over. It's almost like a little tea set with mushrooms on them. The orange mushrooms, how cute. So I'm guessing these are supposed to be little canisters back here. And then we have perhaps a little milk pitcher and the teapot. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. It's a little big to be um, like a, a sugar for the creamer. A little bit too big. Maybe it's just a pot for plants. Little cup. And this was also in the bag uh, as a coaster. How, however, I do not believe it really fits with that little cup. And then we have a little plate salt and pepper shakers right there and then right behind it we have a little napkin holder i thought this was so so cute and anyone that collects miniatures or really likes mushrooms which i understand are kind of popular right now i thought they might like to add this into either one of those collections so i was pretty happy to find that that was a real happy find oh and luckily only two of the pieces this little piece right here that I thought might be a planter has a little nip nick in it right there. And one of the other pieces, oh, which one is, oh, here it is. It's the little napkin holder, right? I don't know if you can even make it out, but right on the side right here is a little nick in that. But seeing as how they had all of those pieces together unprotected in a little Ziploc bag, that there was only those two little nicks, I thought that was that was pretty lucky. Now I've got to take these all off of here so I can show you the next thing, which is a Harry Potter book. And this is Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. I am collecting these books to give to my daughter as a Christmas present this year. Uh, she has decided that she wants to have all of the Harry Potter series. So I am going to collect as many of the hardcover books as I can get. Now you can see this one is not, the first one that I picked up, the, the jacket was in really, really good condition. You can see this one is not in the best of condition. And um, the book, they definitely read it. Um, you can tell that too. So the book is, is a little worn, but that's okay. How much was this? Uh, let me see. They charged $1.99 at this particular thrift store for their hardcover books. So that is two out of the series. I What I need to do is make a list of the ones that I do have, which are only two. This one and, gosh, I can't even remember the other one now. But make a list of them so that I don't do any re, um, repeats when I find them for her. But I will be putting that away for Christmas. Next, I have two... Oh, I'm so sorry for that noise. I was trying to do it so quietly. Picked this up. It's like a galvanized metal uh, basket, bucket. I'm not sure what you call it. With these fantastic rope handles here. I paid $5.99 for this. And it is pretty big. So I was super, super happy to find this. I think for Christmas time, a tree inside of this would be absolutely, there it goes again, I'm so sorry. A tree inside of this for Christmas would be wonderful. And if you have any other thoughts on what you might use this for, firewood next to a fireplace, that would be a good thing too. But if you have any thoughts on it, I would love it if you would share those with me. And I'll find out what it is I'm actually going to do with that. Now the next piece the next piece I bought uh, with the intent of reselling on Facebook Marketplace because it's very large. Shipping would be just, wouldn't be done. It is this very large, another one, galvanized metal bucket with handles on it. And then it has a little space right there that you can put a card. And on the bottom of it, this was originally from Target. It was a Smith and Hawken. I think that's right. Uh, yeah, Smith and Hawken. Oh, they call it a storage tub. That's what this is. Let me see what else it says about it. Uh, it was from Target 2014. It doesn't give dimensions and it doesn't say how much it was originally. I paid, what did I pay for this? It's on the inside here. I paid $7.99 for this. 
So I didn't think that was too bad of a, a price. And if I can at least double my money on this, I would be very, very happy. It's clean as can be. The only thing I'm going to have to do with it is take some pictures and post it. And fingers crossed, somebody is going to love it. So I think I'm going to wrap up today's video with this. Um, I do have some items to show you from the uh, Durham Rescue Mission by the bins, or they call it by the pound store. But I will share that in another upcoming video this week. So my favorite thing from this week, although I do love that Santa mug because I collect them, it has to be the Pillsbury Doughboy and his little girlfriend the salt and pepper shakers these are my favorite from this week like i said because they bring back all kinds of wonderful childhood memories so if you would um let everybody know in the comment section down below what your favorite find was from today's video and if you do enjoy thrift haul videos and if you happen to enjoy this one make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and that that all notifications bell is ticked so that you'll know when I upload that video from the Buy the Pound store, which will be later on this week. And also, if you like today's video, make sure to leave me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. And as always, everyone, please take very, very good care of yourselves. Thank you for watching. I will see you again next week. And tonight, I almost forgot to mention, I am going to be glued to the TV at nine o'clock Eastern Standard Time AMC because the Walking Dead is back on. And I don't know if you knew this about me, but I am a huge, huge fan and so, so sorry and saddened that this is going to be the last season of The Walking Dead. It's going, this is the 11th season and it's going off the air after um, 11 seasons. I started watching it uh, season two and I had to backtrack to season one. My girlfriend, Kate, turned me on to it. Um, anyway, that's where I will be tonight. And wherever you are, I hope you have a good evening. Thank you again for watching and see you later. Bye-bye.